You can't see it, you can't smell it, but it's actually all around us, and it's at the heart of our climate crisis. CO2 is a gas made up of three parts, or atoms, one carbon and two oxygen. Its full name, carbon dioxide. It occurs naturally in our atmosphere and it's a vital part of life on Earth. People and most animals breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. Plants use CO2 to help them grow. But it has a much bigger role to play too. It helps regulate the temperature of our planet. That's because CO2 is one of the main greenhouse gases. It acts like the glass in a greenhouse by keeping some of the heat from the sun trapped inside the Earth's atmosphere. That's a good thing because without it, the planet would be too cold for us to live on. But the natural world works on an incredibly delicate balance and human activity, especially over the last 50 years, has increased the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere. Too much of the sun's heat is getting trapped and our planet is getting hotter. So where's all this extra CO2 coming from? In short, it's from modern life. Factories, cars, aeroplanes, large-scale agriculture. They all use what we call fossil fuels, oil, coal and gas. Now, over hundreds of millions of years, the remains of plants and animals, which are full of carbon, have been buried under the surface of the Earth. Some fossils eventually turn into fossil fuels. So when we burn them, all the carbon which has been stored up over an incredibly long period of time gets released really quickly as CO2. It's still only a tiny percentage of all the air around us, though, just over 0.04%. Scientists measured that as the number of CO2 parts per million in the air. In January 2020, it was an average of 413.4 parts per million. But in 1970, that number was 325, and at the start of the industrial age, it was roughly 280. The increase has been huge, and CO2 levels have been accelerating fast. They do fluctuate naturally, but they haven't been as high as this since well before modern humans like us even existed. In fact, experts reckon the last time there was this much CO2 in the atmosphere was probably more than three million years ago, when sea levels were 15 to 25 meters higher. So in order to sustain life on Earth as we know it, we do need to limit the amount of CO2 that gets released. And that's why the climate change debate has become so urgent.